Good morning, everybody. Um, I've done something very bad to my neck, and I don't know what I did. It has been hurting since yesterday. I tried not to, like, show it too much in the vlog yesterday, but all of yesterday I was taking, like, painkillers because my neck hurts so bad. It's just right here. And it first was, like, a dull pain, but now it's, like, I can't even, like, turn my head different ways. It's pretty bad. Maybe I'll have my dad try and crack my neck because he knows a few little, like, chiropractic chiropractic move. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, he can, he can crack my neck. I have to go pick up Kylie from school. I've had a very late start. I've just been editing and um, watching YouTube videos all morning. I've been so exhausted. Oh man, Ugh, it hurts so bad. Last night I, I tried to like sleep like straight so my neck wouldn't, uh, anyway. It didn't work. It didn't help. I thought that my my neck would feel better today, but it's worse. So hopefully that'll go away or I'm going to need to go to the chiropractor or something. It's just like right here. No idea what I did. I know exactly when it happened. I was like, I was making a smoothie the morning that Sarah was here um, yesterday yesterday morning. I was making a smoothie and then I like turned my head and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I think I did something to my neck. So no idea what could have caused that. But anyway, I gotta go pick up Kylie. I need to get dressed. I haven't even gotten dressed today. I am exhausted. I'm so tired. <laughs> Burning! Hi, baby. I missed you. How was school? <laughs> Are you tired? You want to sail our moon? You went to bed at nine? Oh no. <laughs> Kylie's watching Sailor Moon. We are watching it together. I'm just getting out of bed for a second. My neck is seriously hurting a lot. What do you want, Aurora? I need to sit down. My neck is hurting a lot. I've had like one of those um, airplane seat, you know, neck braces on for the past hour, just like laying down and watching. Um, YouTube with Kylie and watching Sailor Moon. I'm just, my neck really, really hurts. I think I need to go see a chiropractor. I'm gonna cook us some dinner. And then that's pretty much it for the vlog. I'm gonna insert um, a review that I did in a previous day, but couldn't leave it in because the vlog was already too long. So I will insert that in today because today obviously like I haven't even been able to do anything when I was driving to get Kylie anytime I would like look over see like right here it really hurts when I turn like that um, so when I'm looking out my windows my neck would hurt every time to like you know obviously like look around when you're driving so I don't know I really haven't even been able to do anything today luckily Kylie's really tired too so she's just been snuggling with me and we've been watching Sailor Moon, so I'm gonna go back in there, finish this episode with her, and um, then we're gonna make some dinner. So here is the review that I did, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's basically it for the vlog. Okay, so today I have a lot of things because I haven't done a review in a very long time. Um, 
let's start with the Bobbi Brown things. So when I like was choosing the products that I wanted to try out from Bobbi Brown when they were making my little Mother's Day gift, um, I was most excited to try these art sticks. I have it on right now. I wore this to the American, or not the American Music Awards, the Billboard Awards with a little bit of um, my red, I don't remember the color, um, MAC lipstick mixed in with it to make it more um, like a reddish brown. And I just, oh my goodness, I love these. I want to get more colors. This one is in brown berry and I highly recommend this color. I really, really like it. They're really smooth. They're pretty matte, but not completely matte. You're still able to like move your lips around, but they don't, they don't go anywhere. The next thing I've been reaching for every night and every morning, which is the intensive skin supplement. Really just like how this feels. I just, I noticed that my skin looks a little bit brighter when I use this. Nothing crazy, like I haven't used that much. Actually, that's crazy. I feel like I've been using it a lot. Like I've been using it every day since I got it. And it's just an anti-aging serum, so I don't think you're going to see necessarily see like the results right away, but I think it slows down the aging process, which is what I want. Um, I just really like how it feels. I can't say that it's like making a huge difference, but what product actually makes a huge difference? So this is the next thing that I've been using. Oh, actually, I don't know. I've been using, I've been kind of using these equally. This, I'll talk about this one first. This is the Illuminating Moisture Balm, and basically it's like an illuminating primer slash moisturizer, and it's really thick, but I don't mind it. The smell is very herbal, so if you don't like herbal scents, you might not like this, but it's like a balm, almost like, a little thinner than like a lip balm and it just gives the skin like a nice dewy finish like everybody wants nowadays. It doesn't have visible glitter whatsoever, it's just like a face balm with like an illumination. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. The scent is, a, is strong. It smells like... I'm terrible at this. It's It smells herbal and slightly bitter. I like the smell of it. It's kind of like, um, like an aromatherapy kind of thing, but it lingers for a while. So if you are in Sephora, you should just smell this. I don't mind it. It doesn't stay like all day. Um, the smell doesn't stay all day. But this, I just, I really love this. I'm not wearing it today, um, but Pretty much every other day I've been wearing it under all my makeup. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturizing Balm. It has a slightly different smell than that balm. This one's less strong actually. This one kind of smells herbally as well, um, but not as strong as the balm. This is so thick. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, like, it's kind of like a really thick sunscreen texture, but it doesn't smell like sunscreen and it doesn't sit on the skin like sunscreen. It sits on the skin like a nice moisturizing balm. I use it at night. Um, I think it's intended to be used at night. I wake up and my skin is still moisturized, which I really like because my skin is fairly dry around the edges. This is kind of like a topper for my like serum and stuff. So I'll put this on, and I'll put this on, and it kind of locks that in. Definitely locks whatever is underneath into your skin, <laughs> which is good for nighttime. I haven't tried this during the day. I think it would be too heavy, but people with oily skin, I don't know if you would necessarily like this. Maybe you would, I don't know. The next two things are um, brow products from Billion Dollar Brows. I have the products in taupe. This is a color that um, worked for me. A few positives and like one negative. 
this, I really love how tiny, look at how little bitty, look at how tiny and itty bitty that little tiny tip is. I've never seen anything with that tiny of a little tip. I like this, the color is great. Um, it doesn't go on like super dark. Um, I use a light hand with this because it is like slightly dark color. I have it on the outer portion of my eyebrows and then on the inner portion I have this one. I kind of, okay, well I've been using these two things for my eyebrows. This I've already talked about is the Nude Sticks Brow Stylus Pencil and Gel and it's the thicker one. So I kind of go messily over my eyebrows with this. I have slightly thicker eyebrows, not super thick, but um, if somebody has thin eyebrows, this wouldn't work. I already talked about this, but I go kind of messily over with this and then I use the gel on the other side, which is nice. I love the little tiny little um, brush. And then I take this and kind of fill in wherever I've missed with that one, because you can't really detail with that one, but this one you can detail and like add little tiny hairs. And um, I just, I like it for that. And to like extend the little tail. Anyway, it has a little spooly thingy at the end too, which I like, makes it easy. And then I can brush it up and then do more. And then, you know, this one, I haven't been reaching for as much as this. Um, this is a tinted brow gel and normally I really like tinted brow gels but this wand is a little bit difficult for me to, to work with. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to like the boy brow which is just like a tiny little thing but um, I really like the color on this. I like the formulation. It's very pigmented so you could essentially just use this on your eyebrows and it'll fill it in nicely but the wand I'm not a huge fan of. I end up getting it like all around, but luckily it cleans up really nicely. So if you're a little messy with it and you just like wipe it away and before it sets, um, this this works really well. I have um, the, the, the gel color lip and cheek balm. I recently got these in the mail. I, um, I like them. They give the cheeks like a very, What's the word? Dewy. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Dewy finish. Um, this color is really pretty. It's kind of like a mauve pink. I don't know. Purpley? I don't know. Anyway, you do have to sharpen these. Um, clearly, I haven't used that much. Um, but the color payoff is nice. It's slightly more sheer, which I like for the cheeks. So I've actually been reaching for this more for my cheeks than for um, my lips because I've honestly been wearing my Bobbi Brown. Oh, where did it go? I like this for cheeks. So all around, I do like these little gel color from Nude Sticks. So I think I would go for more like blush colors. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Whatever, I like it. The other thing is quite old. And I've had this for a long time, but honestly I've found new love for it. This is the Orange Origins Ginseng Brightening Mascara to lengthen and lift. Um, I freaking love this mascara. I'm wearing it today on my lashes. This is one coat. I love like natural br bristles like that, it's a big, thick, chunky wand. I, I just really like this. It separates your lashes really nicely and it gives volume. Um, I just, I every time I use a different mascara, I feel like I'm always having to like go over it a bunch of times. But this one, I reach for it and I'm like, oh wow, that worked really great. And then I'll go back to another one and I'm like, I don't really like this one as much as that one. So I, I just, this is my favorite mascara. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. That is it. Um, thanks for watching. I don't know how to exit. Exit. No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh my God.
gosh, I just hit my hip on my table thing so hard, or my upper thigh, I guess, so hard, it's already bruising. Ow, freaking A.